This planet, Proxima, holds a unique position in our solar system as the closest celestial body to the Sun that doesn't orbit it directly. Its formal name, Proxima Centauri, harkens back to Latin, where Proxima signifies proximity, indicating its close presence in the constellation Centaurus. In the vast expanse of our universe, profound and enigmatic events are unfolding, reshaping the very essence of science. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has recently uncovered a series of perplexing signals originating from the distant exoplanet, Proxima b, situated a mere four light years away from our home planet. These signals, reminiscent of city lights, have left scientists and researchers with a myriad of questions to unravel. Do these luminous emissions hint at the presence of intelligent life on this neighboring celestial body? Could they be indicative of an interstellar society thriving in close proximity? Join us on this journey as we delve into the intricacies of this recent discovery and explore the profound implications it holds for the future of our understanding of the cosmos. Proxima b, the solitary confirmed planet within the Proxima Centauri system, resides at a distance of approximately 4.25 light years from Earth. The JWST recently embarked on an observatory mission with a specific focus on this rocky exoplanet. Positioned within the habitable zone of its host star, an M-class red dwarf boasting a radius nearly one-third that of Earth and a mass approaching that of our own planet, Proxima b has captivated the attention of astronomers and astrobiologists alike. Observing Proxima Centauri, nestled within the Orion arm of our Milky Way galaxy, has historically proven to be a daunting challenge due to its faint luminosity and proximity to the main sequence of stars. Remarkably, the city lights discovered on Proxima b bear a striking resemblance to the artificial LEDs illuminating our own planet. In a quest to verify that these signals aren't mere echoes of our own terrestrial civilization, Researchers uncovered an additional signal originating from the direction of Proxima Centauri, yielding identical readings. At present, scientists are meticulously studying these luminous emissions from our planets to ascertain whether they offer concrete evidence of extraterrestrial life. This notion is particularly astonishing, given that on a tidally locked planet with a permanent nighttime side, the existence of artificial lighting would be imperative to sustain a technological civilization a direct and compelling sign of extraterrestrial life on a neighboring celestial body. What further heightens the intrigue is that these light emissions remain visible even at wavelengths between 1.6 and 2.5 meters, a time when they would typically be expected to be at their peak intensity. This discovery serves to reinforce the notion that the exoplanet system encompassing Proxima Centauri is not excessively hot. Furthermore, these observations have provided evidence of the presence of water vapor and carbon dioxide within the exoplanet system surrounding Proxima Centauri, dispelling the notion that it is an entirely dark and desolate realm. The James Webb Space Telescope has further solidified this theory by detecting signs of oxygen and water vapors on the exoplanet. While the presence of some form of life on Proxima b suggests that it has evolved, the precise shape and level of sophistication of this life remain shrouded in mystery. Interestingly, the positioning of Proxima b within the habitable zone should ensure the existence of liquid water on its surface. Thanks to the modest luminosity of its parent star, Proxima b receives approximately 65% of the sunlight that Earth receives from the Sun. This level of heat is more than adequate to prevent the planet's surface water from freezing into a permanent state of ice. Recent discoveries have only added to the intrigue. The high-resolution capabilities of the Atacama Submillimeter Telescope have enabled scientists to identify artificial light emissions originating from the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri, with the exoplanet system surrounding Proxima v remaining relatively unobscured by the luminosity of its host star. According to findings, CO2 emissions are being produced, likely as a result of carbon dioxide ice present within the exoplanet system. This discovery has provided valuable insights into how terrestrial civilizations might employ artificial lighting techniques on their homeworlds for enhanced visibility or to conceal certain areas. Scientists are eagerly anticipating the potential contributions of new technologies, particularly the Jasmine Telescope, which orbits the nearest star in unraveling the mysteries of this phenomenon. While it is highly plausible that civilizations emerging around nearby stars might coexist, those originating elsewhere might leave behind identifiable artifacts or traces. 
If you're enjoying this video, please don't hesitate to share your thoughts on the James Webb Telescope and its remarkable discoveries in the comments section below. Recent research into techno signatures, facilitated by the findings of the James Webb Telescope, has significantly heightened the prospect of detecting artificial light emissions on Proxima b. When compared to our Sun, which is roughly 20 times brighter, the light emanating from Proxima Centauri can be likened to placing a firefly next to stadium floodlights. Even this seemingly faint light holds cosmic significance, and it underscores the challenges associated with detecting a civilization on Proxima b that emits light equivalent to just 0.001% of the reflected stellar illumination. Many researchers posit that alternative telescopes, such as LIVOIR or the Big UV Optical Infrared Surveyor, may prove to be more effective than the JWST in detecting the total glow of an extraterrestrial civilization in the future. Although both Habix and Lodivoir are scheduled for debut in 2035, there remains a substantial journey ahead before they can directly capture images and catalog exoplanets within distant star systems. Understanding how these telescopes will detect city lights on planets revolving around stars located at distances of 30 parsecs PC, is of paramount importance. To provide some context, the distance between one parsec and the nearest star is approximately 326 light years. In the future, we may witness the gradual fading of light from a distant world thanks to a vast constellation of satellites and telescopes. Nevertheless, as humanity continues to launch more satellites into space, the possibility arises that these technological indicators might also result from collisions with comets or debris present in Earth's orbit. It is important to note that an active star in close proximity to Earth could potentially pose a threat to our planet. Any supernova occurring within 30 light years of Earth has the potential to trigger a mass extinction event. Given that Proxima Centauri is a mere 4.2 light years away, it could unleash gamma rays and charged particles capable of devastating life on Earth. However, there is no need for immediate panic or fear, as current scientific knowledge suggests that Proxima Centauri is too small to support the development of a supernova, thereby eliminating any threat it may pose to Earth. The exploration of space and the quest for extraterrestrial life have ignited the imagination and curiosity of people worldwide. The James Webb Telescope is successfully fulfilling its primary missions, shedding light on the formation of our solar system and providing potential evidence of extraterrestrial life. As underscored by the recent revelations surrounding Proxima b, there is still much to uncover about the vast and wondrous universe that surrounds us. What are your thoughts on the recent discoveries surrounding Proxima b and the potential for detecting extraterrestrial life? Share your insights and opinions. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our exciting updates about lunar discoveries and the future of space exploration. Remember, as we venture into the universe, the sky is not the limit, it's just the beginning. Keep looking up.